Hey guys, thanks for watching. I recently got an email from a subscriber asking me if there's any bad habits he should avoid when it comes to nature photography. And I was able to name a few for him, but I thought I should just share with everybody. So here it goes. Here's my top five bad habits. And yes, I have more than five. But here's my top five bad habits when it comes to nature photography. So my bad habit number one is chimping. Chimping is when you're constantly looking at the LCD screen. You take a picture, you look, and you're analyzing, and you're overanalyzing every shot. Well, that's a good thing, and I don't do enough of it. Too often I take a picture, and just because I think my focus was good, and I think my shutter speed was fast, I move on to the next shot. Always check your LCD screen, that's what it's there for. Make sure your exposure and your sharpness is good before you move on. Bad habit number two, unfortunately still, because I consider it a very rookie move, is being a one-shot wonder. Coming in, taking a shot, and then getting out of dodge. You should take your time, work around the area, and you'll be a lot better off in the end. This is one of my worst, worst bad habits. Not getting out of the vehicle. Especially on hot days like today when the AC just feels so good. You see something or you think you might see something and you just, ah, oh well, or I'll get it on the way back. Shooting everything from the vehicle is also not a good idea. It's just better to stop, park, stop being lazy, and get out of the vehicle. What was that? Oh well. This is just something I've been doing lately, but I've been forgetting to carry my binoculars on me all the time. I love carrying these little guys everywhere. And lately I've been forgetting them at home, so that's my last pet peeve. If you don't have a small pair for finding birds or wildlife, pick up a pair. Because a lot of times when you think you see something, you probably do. And it's handy to have one of these. So that's my five pet peeves and bad habits when it comes to nature photography. Yours are probably different, but thanks for watching. Hope you break your bad habits.